right, folks, here is the breakdown of the signal reel from China from eBay. That's only like 60 something dollars. Here's what it looked like when it was all together. There it is all together. And now here it is all broke down. All right. So what I want to show you is what it sort of looks like when it's broke down here. Is it really any different? Is it really cheap? Is it really junky? You know. Well, let's start with the frame. It's a graphite frame, also known as plastic, I guess. You know, so that's the frame. Nothing stamped on it on the on the real seat. Here's this side. This is the side plate. Has this ring on it. Uh, the only thing that I can see. And I mean, I don't know if other reels have this or not, but um, instead of this being metal, for the this is what the snaps in, turns the clicker on. Instead of this being metal, which it usually is, it, it's plastic. Doesn't really matter to me. I hate clickers to start off with. I noticed by looking in here, this bearing looks like it's uh, lubed. What I like to do is just take a little oil, light oil, and I put it on the bearing. Now here was the handle. Looks pretty good. It's not a ball bearing system on it. All right, it's not a ball bearing system. But drop a little oil right in there. Now the nut that holds the handle on. That's the nut. And the nut actually is fit. Which one? Here it is. This is a pen tool. And that fits that pen tool to get the handle off absolutely perfect. So that might be a little clue, folks. A little clue. Alright. So the other thing is the spool. There's a spool with a bearing on it. Now it looks like it's greased, sort of greased up. It's got a retainer. Again, what do I do? I like to drop, drop a little oil in there. Work that in there. It's just stuff that I do to brand new reels many times. Alright, one little drop of really light lube. There's the other side of the spool. Here's the star drag. Very nice. Had its, uh, here's the clicker mechanism in the star drag right here. Now we get to the meat and potatoes. Here's the real handle side plate. Got an O-ring on there, just like it should. On this cap. Keep water from getting in there. Pretty nice little throw lever there and then soon as I looked in here I was kind of surprised this is reminiscent and I'm sure it's I'm not necessarily reminiscent I'm sure there's other real companies that do the same thing but this reminded me the way this goes in and out of gear here see that Reminds me of Daiwa on a Daiwa sea line, an old sea line. Everything looks to be, I'm not going to go in here and start popping the drag washers out and all that. I'm not going to get all that specified. Then on the back side, you've got these washers that went on here, which, let me get a screwdriver. Here's another little washer. 
and here's your real handle bearing seems to be very nice all right I'm gonna take I'm on it's a shielded bearing but some of this lube will get in there and I just put a little light oil around that bearing so these reels don't seem to be anything out of the ordinary they actually seem to be very par for the course and um, seem to be put together like about any other reel of that uh, you know I'm sure that these people make for other companies you know that's how Okuma started out from what I gather okay Okuma made reels for other people and now look at them so you never know I mean coming to a tackle shop near you could be signal reels okay and I mean many times they'll they'll have these brands over in Europe even down in Australia sometimes they have these brands down there already so there you go very quick and simple everything seems to be pretty much standard fare that's a nice little spool a nice spool what they did there and the handle giving you a nice blue handle like that and the star drag to match so there it is there's the inner workings of the reel and um, only time will tell about how tough the reel turns out to be catching some big old Brutus T red bass on this hopefully of course um, all that is just back up for um, my truth reels I'd be probably pressing something like this more into use you know jetty fishing later in the winter for drum and and sheep's head or something like that alrighty folks so there you go as promised the signal reel from eBay about 60 bucks and you know I'm gonna put braid on there and that's gonna hold a whole bunch of braid so this will have a good line capacity is catch getting those reels off of China from China on eBay a good deal we'll see because if there's a problem I'll follow up with it okay so thanks for watching.